Hey guys, so just a quick tutorial today, I want to show you how to do HDRI lighting with V-Ray. So the quickest, easiest way is just to open the V-Ray Cosmos browser and you can click on HDRIs and just select one and download it and just say import into your scene. It will automatically create a V-Ray dome light and if you enable the V-Ray IPR, it's going to be blown out because it assumes that you're using the V-Ray exposure. So under rendering environment, you can select ex V-Ray Exposure Control and then just reset the IPR. And here you go, it's already working beautifully. It sets up everything for you. Now I also want you to know how to do this manually, so I'll just reset everything. Right, so we're starting with a blank scene again. And the first thing you need to do is get an HDRI map file. So you can go to HDRI Haven, then just click on HDRIs. You can pick one whichever you like. I'll just do Sunrise Sunset, pick the first one and download it in like 4K, that should be enough. Then you can just open your material editor and scroll down here to V-Ray and select V-Ray bitmap. And for the bitmap, we're gonna select the HDRI that we just downloaded. You need to set the mapping type to spherical and then you just wanna go under create lights, V-Ray, V-Ray light and set the type to dome and just click and then you need to just drag and instance that V-Ray bitmap into this map slot, say instance. So now you can just enable the IPR and here you go, everything's working. Now if you wanna be able to rotate the texture with the dome line, you can select that and just say lock texture to icon. Now you can just rotate the icon and it will rotate the map along with it. So that's pretty cool. You can also accomplish the same thing just by dragging the horizontal rotation inside the V-Ray bitmap slot. Right, so now I'm rotating it as well. Now if you want to change the brightness, you can lower the overall multiplier. So you just make it 0 0.5, 0 0.1 to get more dusk lighting. And if you want to increase the contrast of the HDRI map, you can just lower this inverse gamma so I can make it maybe 0.8 and it'll just increase the contrast, right? So the sun will get brighter and everything else will sort of get darker. So it just basically increases the intensity of the sun in this case. So I'll just make it one again, right? So now that you have everything set up, you can easily just change the map. So I can maybe just use this one Right, and you get more of a beach sunset look this way. Maybe increase the contrast here. And one more cool feature I want you to know about is this ground projection. So if you click that, it will basically flatten the bottom part of the environment to create basically a fake ground. So that's super cool to sort of just ground your objects in reality without the need to create some kind of a plane. So if I um, disable ground projection, the usual way of doing this maybe would be V-Ray and create a V-Ray plane and this will just give me sort of an infinite floor, right? So that would be sort of the other way of doing the same thing, but just want you to know ground projection that it's there. And just be aware that when you render it and import it into After Effects, it might look like this. It's gonna show up without the background. So you just need to right click, go to interpret footage, main, and set it to ignore um, the alpha channel and will bring in the background along with the render. So if you guys found this helpful, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you are completely new to the channel, my name is Jesse and there are a lot of tutorials for you to check out and learn from. Definitely subscribe because I'll be uploading more tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.